3.32. Good morning and welcome. On today's program, we're going to talk about singing. In the studio, we have Franco, the director of a singing school in Miami, and Molly, a student at Franco's school. Good morning to both of you. Good, good morning. morning. First, Franco, can you tell us, why is it a good idea for people to learn to sing? First, because singing makes you feel good. And secondly, because singing is very good for your health. Really? In what way? Well, when you learn to sing, you need to learn to breathe correctly. That's very important. And you also learn to stand and sit correctly. As a result, people who sing are often in better shape and healthier than people who don't. Are your classes only for professional singers? No, not at all. They're for everybody. You don't need to have any experience with singing, and you don't need to be able to read music. So how do your students learn to sing? They learn by listening and repeating. Singing well is really 95% listening. Okay. Molly, tell us about the class. How long did it last? Only one day, from 10 in the morning to 6 in the evening. Could you already sing well before you started? No, not well. I've always liked singing, but I can't read music, and I never thought I sang very well. So what happened during the class? Well, first we did a lot of listening and breathing exercises, and we learned some other interesting techniques. What sorts of things? Well, for example, we learned that it's easier to sing high notes if you sing with a surprised look on your face. Oh, really? Could you show us? Well, I'll try. For those of you at home, I can promise you that Molly looked very surprised. Were you happy with your progress? Absolutely. At the end of the day, we were singing in almost perfect harmony. It was amazing. In just one day, we really were much better. Could you two give us a little demonstration? Oh, oh. Okay. okay.